Hey everybody, how's it going? And this video is to show everybody how to drive a manual transmission car. Now there are a few things that are different with a manual transmission car than an automatic. Uh, now a manual means you select each gear yourself. So you have a different looking shifter here than you would find in an automatic. An automatic usually has about six gears. There could be anywhere from about three gears to maybe even ten. Some new cars have ten gears. Now what a manual does is it allows you yourself as the driver to select the gear yourself. So if I wanted to downshift for this turn here because I'd be going at a lower speed, I'd put it down to second gear. Now what this does is it lets you have a lot more control of the car and it lets you kind of make the car do exactly what you want it to do. Now one of the most noticeable things that would be different in a manual transmission car would be the pedals. Now you'll see that you have one, two, and three of them. Uh, in a regular car you'd usually just have two. But uh, in a manual, you have three, and that would be the gas and the brake, which will be exactly the same as an automatic, you know, where gas makes you go, brake makes you stop. The clutch, the third pedal, does a little different thing. Now you have the gear selector here, and if I try to put it into first right now without pushing down the clutch, it's going to make a terrible, terrible grinding sound, and it's, it's going to not be very good for the car or your ears or anything, really. Now what the clutch lets you do is it lets you move the gear shifter around because it disconnects the engine from the wheels. So I'm in neutral right now, which means the power from the engine is not being put towards the wheels, but that's just because I'm stopped. Now if I'm moving and I'm in first gear, or any gear really, if I push down on the gas pedal, then the wheels are going to, you know, react to my input and they're going to spin a little faster. But if I'm parked here and I push down on the gas, nothing's happening because I'm in neutral. So if I'm in first gear, then I would move, but because I have the clutch down, I'm not moving. So it disengages the engine from the wheels. Now pushing the clutch down also lets you start the car, which is pretty much the only tricky thing about driving a manual, is the start. We'll just put our foot on the brake to begin with, assuming the car is already started. We'll take the handbrake off because the handbrake in a manual acts as your park because the most you can do with your gear shifter here is go to neutral. So you know, this would be park. I'm in park right now. Now I'm not. It's that simple. So. If I'd want to go from a standstill, I'm just at a dead stop right now. It's in neutral. You can tell it's in neutral by shaking it around like this, because if you can see, if I'm in the gear, it doesn't let me shake it around. So I can tell I'm in neutral by shaking around the gear lever. So if I want to move from a stop, I would put the car into first, then I would take my foot off the brake, slowly take my foot off the clutch, and apply some gas, and there you go. It's that simple. You're driving a manual. Now, the other thing, that you have to know when driving a manual would be changing gears while you're moving. Now that is, in my opinion, a whole lot easier than starting. Shifting gears goes a little something like this. You rev up a little high, you put the clutch in, you go to the next gear, you let the clutch out, and then you put the gas back on. It's, it's really that simple. See, there's third gear. Downshifting, that's a totally different thing. Downshifting is a little more tricky because you have to match the moving parts to the speed that they're going. Now, if I want to downshift for this corner, I'd have to put it into second, give it enough revs, then take my foot off the clutch, and you're in second. And that's really the basics uh, to driving a manual. It's, it's really not that hard, and most of it is honestly just muscle memory that you're going to get down after doing it over and over again. Now I have been doing this every day for about five or six months now, so I probably make it look a little easier than uh, it would actually be your first time driving. So to show you that it's not really the easiest thing in the world, I am going to put my wonderful girlfriend Taylor in the car, and she will try her best to figure out my car and how to drive it and uh, hopefully not break it. So let's see how that goes. All right, to show you how hard it is to drive manual, here is, uh, here's Taylor Bruce. Taylor Bruce here. She's going to show you how to drive manual. Isn't that right, Taylor? So, you're going to put your foot on the brake. It is already on the brake. All right, you're going to put the handbrake down. I'm trying. <laughs> ah! Boy. No. No. Can you get it for me? 
Thank you. All right, now that I've successfully put the handbrake down. You're gonna put it in reverse. Actually, I'm not gonna do it for you. You're just gonna pull this up and then push it all the way over and up. All the way over, up. Oh my God, you're in reverse. Now that we're in reverse. Can I take my hand yeah, off? Yeah, you can it? take your hand off the ring. You're fine. Now you're gonna take your foot off the brake and slow, ever so slowly take your foot off the clutch. Oh, oh. Hold it there. Hold it there. Let it out just a little bit more. All right, now push it back in. Push it back in. Oh, dead. Why would I push it back in? To okay. All right, push. Is it all the way back in? Yeah. All right. So now you turn your wheel back over, and you're gonna. Ow. You <laughs> now you're gonna pop that puppy in first. Oh my God, that's first gear. All right, your wheel's straight? I think so. Maybe. Let's just go forward and figure it out. Forward time. Four vats. Four vats. Foot off a little more, 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 a little more. And you just keep going until you feel it kind of start yeah, to vibrate. Yeah, if I go, if I don't go any faster, it will Oh, stop. there you go. Now what? Now take it out, all the way out. All the way out, you're good. All the way out. Wee. Now you can, yeah! <laughs> hey, congratulations! You're driving a manual. All right, so speed up, speed up, speed up. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Fast, 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 fast. All right, clutch in, go to second. Now let's clutch out. Oh my God, you're in second gear, two whole gears. The only hard part is stopping and starting. Now clutch in. Whenever you stop, you don't. You always put the clutch. I'm just in. slowing down. Now what? See now you put it back into first. Yeah, back into first. Now, oh, there you go. There you go. That was good. That was pretty good. All right, speed up, 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 speed up. Keep going, keep going. I'm about to keep turn, going. so nah. Then you gotta do it on the way coming back. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. Don't don't be afraid to go past the uh, 3,000 RPM. The arms of the angel. Oof, there goes your camera. <laughs> Goodbye, that scared camera. Scared me. So then. Clutch in, second. Clutch out. Hey, ha <laughs> Perfect. 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 Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Second time. And then we can just pull in next to your car. Just go ahead and put the clutch in. You can just coast on in and neutral. Push it in, all the way in. And just, there you go. Oh, shake it around, see if it's in neutral. You can take your foot off the clutch now. And there you go. Congratulations. I almost did that. To put you almost it put it in park? Congratulations. Congratulations. Shake with my right hand. Congratulations, sir. Now have the certificate from the Derek Russell School of Driving. Oh. oh. <laughs> so this has been how to drive a manual. I, I hope you learned something. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, see you next time.